All right, that. we're back here at DMV Zone. Uh, Kevin McCarthy joining us now. We're talking about hey. all the Hi. movies that are happening. And man, you have been selling this one. You yeah. talked to the crew. Yeah. Cocaine Bear. Cocaine Bear. Cocaine Bear. Cocaine Bear. Yeah, and this might be one of the most anticipated movies of the year right now. This is going to be a big one. This is actually directed by Elizabeth Banks. I don't know if you all know this. This is based on a true story. Um, now, right. it's inspired Break by a true story. So, so in, crazy. in real life, a bear did come across like 40 open containers of cocaine that were dropped out of a plane by a gentleman named Andrew C. Thornton. Uh, he was trying to get some weight off the plane. He then <laughs> jumped off the plane uh, and did pass away during the jump because okay. his parachute failed. That's what? the real story. Now, what? in the movie, the bear itself will be uh, ingesting a lot of cocaine, but then becoming the more of the shark-like jaws. Uh, where yeah. The, where Look the, at uh, this bear. Instead of the bear dying, which the, the bear died in real life, unfortunately, which is sad to mention. Uh, After the, the cocaine? Yes. The bear in, the, in real life the bear did to... pass away from the cocaine. But in the movie, the cocaine gives the bear some superpowers. So it goes off and starts to devastate people who are in the woods in a very violent and brutal way. So uh, Elizabeth Banks directed the film. You know her from Pitch Perfect and Hunger Games. <laughs> uh -huh. I spoke to her about directing the film and calling it Cocaine Bear. Take a look. When did you realize, okay, we're just going to call it Cocaine Bear? I, at the very beginning of the process, when I the script was called Cocaine Bear from Jump. That was Jimmy Warden's uh, idea. And I agree with you. It tells you everything you need to know about the movie. Um, and when I, I sat down with Universal and my partners, uh, Lord and Miller, you know, we, we all held hands about it. Of course, you have to check. I've gone through this before, this process before. It's not my first rodeo. And I know that there can be limitations on marketing, on where we can show the trailer, on, you know, like we, we're not on Apple trailers because we have cocaine in the title. Is that going to be okay with everybody? Like, it was really just like... Are we cool with the limitations that this title might put on the movie? And everybody said yes, because the title is that good. I'm curious, though, what is the funniest place you've seen an ad or a poster for this? Uh, have you, like, going around and seeing it? I mean, it's why, you know, I, I definitely have had conversations with my mom friends who are driving past the billboards and are like, you know, I have to explain to my kid, like, what the cocaine bear is, because they think it looks really cool and they want to go see it. And, you know, I, people are like, I can't believe you got to do that. You know, here's the thing. Cocaine is for adults. That is an adult thing. It's for yeah. grown-ups. And bears are scary and dangerous, as is cocaine. Just tell your kids that's for adults. Like, that's not for you. Uh, a few Hilarious. things. The, the movie opens next Friday in theaters. This is Ray Liotta's, uh, one of his final performances in the okay. film. He's great in the movie. Uh, the movie does also star O'Shea Jackson Jr., Ice Cube's son, uh -huh. Alden Ehrenreich. Uh, and it's a very, very, it's, it's, it's crazy tonally. We're going to talk about it all next week when I can review the film officially. But we'll have the cast joining us next week. Carrie Russell's in the movie. Wow. Matthew Reese is in the film. Yeah, quite the cast um, there. But yeah, it is, I will say, it is sad. I want to mention, because I'm an animal person, it is sad yes. in real life. Life that the bear did die. Yeah, Let's mean, not to lose that part. I want to make sure we happens. mention that yeah. because this did really happen. But the movie then takes it to the extreme by making it more well, like an over-the-top yeah. thing can, where the bear becomes a killer. Yeah. Can we can we give some love to the pilot? Who yeah, the also pilot, died. Well, I don't know if he was a pilot, but he jumped out of the plane. Uh, to, yeah, yeah, and did <laughs> rest pass in away. peace to him yeah, as well. Yeah, Andrew C. Right. Thornton, I believe, was his so, name. Matthew Reese plays him in the film. So. Another big conversation that's happening in Hollywood <laughs> would happen between Steven Spielberg and Tom Cruise. Yeah. It was at this year's Oscar nominees luncheon Spielberg had kind of quite the moment with Tom Cruise and yeah. he basically said you saved our industry. Yeah, and this is a really big deal because obviously, I mean, Spielberg and Tom Cruise have known each other for years. They made, I think, one of a very underrated Spielberg movie, War of the Worlds, which was yes. absolutely incredible, one very of my intense. Uh, I, I love that movie. That scene when he's running through the streets as the as everyone's mm -hmm. getting zapped, it's crazy. Him and Dakota Fanning, right? Yeah, right. exactly. So what uh, Marina's referring to is this uh, comment that Spielberg said to him uh, at this event, which was basically, and I won't say it because he uses the A word in it, but he basically said, you saved our butts, essentially, uh, and to paraphrase him in a way. Uh, and, and the idea of theatrical distribution because Spielberg knows that because of the pandemic and kind of where movies were headed, that theaters weren't possibly going to survive. Uh, and with Top Gun oh. Maverick, I mean, I wouldn't say but that wait he a second. knew. Let's, let's bring the point home that Tom yeah. Cruise had this movie in the can at the height of the pandemic when VOD was thriving and people right. were watching movies off their he couch. Like, Come and on Tom back. Cruise said, no, I'm not putting it to streaming. Yeah. I'm waiting until people can finally go yeah. back into the movie theaters. And I think that's what Spielberg 
Spielberg is trying to draw 100%. home. Like, had it not been for Top Gun Maverick, we may not have people back in the movie theater. Yeah, because basically Tom Cruise had the option because you're, you're holding a movie for a couple of years. You could have easily spent, sold it to streaming, mm -hmm. made a bunch of money on that. But to put it in theaters, make $1.5 billion, it set a standard again and showed that people want to get back in yes. theaters. So Spielberg, the king of directors, basically saying, Thank you for getting people invested back in the theatrical experience because we actually didn't know where the theaters were right. going. And I'm, I'm paraphrasing Spielberg, of course, but that's yeah. what he meant. That's so, big. That's, those, that's a big accolade yeah. from a big guy. But he did. Tom Cruise got us going back to the movie theater. Yeah. So way to you, go, you Tom went back, Cruise. You went back for Top Gun. I did go back for Top Gun. And you and never go to the movies, and right? And I never go to the well, movies. But it's one of those movies you got to watch in the theater. And I think yeah. that's exactly what Spielberg was talking about.